everyone, this is Kat. Um, to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna try to be fair to everybody in this video. I, Chanel's hurting. I'm hurting. And I believe that the people who chose to lie about Chanel and Brandt are also hurting. I do believe that a lot of what's going on does stem from some pain somewhere. It's probably why I have anger management issues. Um, to be perfectly honest, I am still angry that Jane decided to lie to an entire community that claims to be all about love, the truth, and it does make me even angrier that the supposed truth community has decided to defend the lies that Jane chose to tell. With that all said, I do not know the situation of Jane in its full extent. Maybe she got hurt in the past. And that is translating into some of her actions today. As for making space, I have heard that he just wants to be as popular as EYA is from an anonymous source who I will not be naming. Could this be true? I don't know. I wasn't provided with evidence of it, so I don't have proof of it. So, that's cause I'm just going to leave that up in the air. Maybe making space actually is in some sort of pain, too. I know that. So, bulk of the mentally effects community in the Christian side is hurting, and the Bible changes is not making it any easier for them to cope. To be perfectly honest, I've been Mandela affected since late 2018, and I did join the Christian side of the community. And, frankly, while we try to comfort one another over the fact that the Bible is changing, we often fail one another in trying to do so. The Bible changes are not easy on anybody. And, I... From what I've seen, people are in pain over on the Christian side of the Mandela Effect community. Perhaps that is part of why they are defending the, the fact that Jane lied, or, or even being complacent about the fact that she lied and just not caring that she lied and what is supposed to be a truth community. Perhaps it is just the pain that everybody is in. With all of that said, it's not an excuse. People still need to apologize to one another and try to make it right in a Christian manner. We can't all just keep holding on to all that anger and pain and cause one another to suffer. Because that doesn't do the Mandela Effect community any favors for the Christian side. What I've noticed is whether Mandela affected or not, Brethren tend to tear one another down instead of building each other up. That's part of why I'm not a huge fan of churches and why I'm not a huge fan of Christianity as a whole, even though I do follow Jesus and I think that he is the way, truth, and light. You know, I really think that maybe if we actually tried to do the stuff Jesus said, it would look better for the Mandela Effect community instead of just doing what every other Christian does and tearing one another down. To be perfectly honest, I have been just as guilty as at times of tearing down brethren as well. I'm not going to pretend like I've never done it because I have. I'm guilty. But maybe it would be better to work on building up the brethren instead of trying to tear them down over disagreements and little things. Only Jesus is going to save. Nothing else can. The Mandela effect is not a salvation issue, and I'm not here to push it onto everybody that it needs to be one. I just think that if you see the Mandela effect, Great. You're awake. If you don't see the Mandela effect, it's because God hasn't shown it to you. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. 
I'll see everybody in the next video. Thank you very much for watching today.